All right, guys, so welcome back to another video. So today I have the MC's tailor-made uh, muscle cavity. It's the same irons that uh, recently this uh, PGA professional came top 15 with him. He, he used them in the, the tournament and he actually did really well. He uh, made a holding one with his seven iron. And basically what I want to say is that these clubs are quite old. I mean, I think they're like almost 10 years old and they're not blades but they're uh, they're not uh game improvement either so it's somewhere in between uh i have them and the reason I, do, I don't use them is because a lot of times if you hit them severely off the toe they they are not forgiving but in this video i will try to compare them against my clubs which are the m2 tour um tailor made which is they're a little more forgiving and they have a little more muscle on the backs. I was just a little intrigued because a lot of times you see these PGA Tour players having the latest equipment. And in this case, you have this guy who, uh, who plays with all irons. Uh, he even has some tape on it and uh, he did really well. I think he earned like 300,000. And so, you know, it's a dream come true for a lot of people. And what I want to prove is that a lot of times you don't need the latest technology to play well. He ended up top 15 with some old irons. Let me show you the quality of these irons here. The MC's Muscle Cavity Tailor Made. These are actually pretty good. Um, they're a little worn out, but um, they're really good, actually. I think I might put them back in the, in the bag. Uh, they're forged, uh, I think up to the eight iron and then they're just uh, cast it but uh, the shaft is just uh, KBS Tour 110 stiff mine is 95 regular so a little more weight okay so first I will hit my M Tour uh, M2 Tours I'm gonna hit my pitching wedge I'll just show you um, the uh, the feel of it so 100 yards slightly to the right there so I'll come normal carry like 120 with them see if I can get a good shot All right, that was pretty good, slightly to the right. And I can see that past the 120 actually. So now I'm gonna show you the MC's uh, pitching wedge. 100 yard mark there. I know that it, it almost got to the yellow, to the red flag with the other one. So I'll tell you the difference in feel first and then I'll give you numbers. Okay, that was fantastic, fantastic. Actually, that probably went a little farther than the other one. Uh, this was straighter. So very, very nice feel with this one. Let me show you where I hit that one. So that was uh, not in a sweet spot, but it was very good. The problem with these clubs is that if I start hitting it like right here, that's when you start seeing the drop in distance. But that was very nice. It was a great feeling actually. So like I said, that was really nice, a great feeling. I think a lot of times we, um, we don't want to try this uh, better clubs because we think that they're not going to be very forgiving but in reality as long as you hit it closer to the sweet spot you're fine i mean i think um, actually it might be better because they have less offset so because the more offset you have the more you're tempted to uh you could hit you can lose it to the left so you can hit hooks with more offset this one has less offset than mine irons and i think it's a little you can like uh, try to turn better and you'll know that you're less likely to lose it to the left. Okay, so I'm gonna hit my M2 irons first. I line everything to the 200 yard uh, marker there. So this is my M2 tour uh, iron. So a little more uh, game improvement than the other one. All right, this one I lost it just a little bit to the right, but it was a pretty good shot actually. Uh, gave me a carry of 131. Let's see if I can get another one. Okay, this is a little pull, but it was struck pretty good. And this is going to be, let's see, the Mibo says 138. So those are my numbers with the uh, with my M2 Tour uh, 9 iron. So now I'm going to try the other one. I'm going to let you see the difference. Okay, so now I have the MC's uh, 9 iron. I'm gonna see if it can give me the same distance. That's, I think a lot of people are concerned with that when they play with better clubs. They think like uh, even blades, these are not blades, but they're uh, one up from blades. So. Okay. Slightly to the right, but it's a pretty good shot actually. Let's look at the distance here. This is pretty good. 128. It looked like it was a little more, but um, I guess there is a difference 
slight difference in distance so far. Okay, this is slightly to the left, but it's a very good shot. 151. Okay, that's pretty straight. Pretty good shot there. Actually, very good shot. Let's see what it says. 154. Okay, this one went a little bit to the left, but it was pretty good. Let's see the distance on this one. 153. Okay, so on average, uh, I would say about 150, 155. Now I'm gonna try the MCs and see if uh, if I lose any distance with this ones. Okay, this was pretty good. Slightly to the left. Let's look at the numbers. 159, so that one's pretty good. Okay, a little high. And this was left. 147. All right, a little left. But no bad. 149. Okay, so I got a five iron now. Uh, a lot of times when you on the MCs, it feels like the longer clubs are less forgiving. So I'm gonna hit my M2s first. And then I'm going to compare them. Okay, this was a beauty. Really nice. It says 168. These are obviously range balls, so they're going to go a little less. Okay, this is pretty good, I would say. This one gave me 182. So that's that's about right for me like 180 with my five iron so now i'm going to test the mcs all right so unfortunately the um the volume cut off here so i hit my five iron with the mcs and this one actually was probably the best uh longer irons were better i would say i tend to lose some to the right rather than the left but uh, more than losing it to the right i think i feel like it was just me uh scared of losing it to the left and then when I actually hit it, uh, when it when it felt like I lost it to the left, it was just a draw. So I was quite happy with this uh, five iron uh, MC. So I think it was a little better than mine because mine uh, tend to go more to the left. So it took a few shots, but then I uh, started to get more comfortable and then uh, started to hit straighter shots towards the end. All right, guys. So that was it for the review. Uh, I, have to, I have to be honest. I'm very surprised because actually with this ones right here, having less offset, uh, it allows me to uh, lose it uh, more just to the right instead of right and left. Uh, with the other ones, having more offset, sometimes I lose. Uh, I tend to like hook them. So definitely interesting. They're playable as long as you hit them uh, just not so much off the toe. If you hear if you hit them severely off the toe, you're gonna get no distance. But if you hit them just you know just slightly off the toe they're still forgiving so they're not they're not a bad set of uh, irons and if you think about it this guy michael block he played with them uh, on the pga tour and came 15th place with this set of irons that costs about 200 dollars compared to over you know over a thousand or 2k for brand new clubs so that just shows you that is is always the person the player is not so much the the irons but the player you know this guy had this very old MCs with tape on it and he managed to to um, rank fifth, 15th place so earning over 300,000 so they're definitely impressive I may think about uh, going back to this ones the only reason that I didn't like him initially was because I used to hit them uh, severe off the toe severely off the toe and I lost a lot of distance doing that so now uh, actually I kind of prefer them I have to say um, between mine and this ones because with this ones I don't lose that much distance actually if I can hit him off the sweet spot I get pretty good distance and at times it was even more than my other ones and the good thing about this one is that it allows me to hit them uh, more to the right than rather than missing to the left so yeah, I'm not saying that it's impossible to miss it to the left but uh, definitely it, it does help because of the less offset I mean this is a uh, five iron and you look at the offset on this one it's um, it's way less than mine see you it looks like a like a 
more like a three iron. Look at the offset on this one right here. So very, very little offset. And what happens is that's going to help you hit um, more, miss more to the to the right instead of the left. With mine, they have more offset, so I'm going to miss more to the to the left. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.